Hey, what's up YouTube? So today, I'm excited to share with you an update on my backyard guppy farm. It's been about a year since my last update and a lot has changed. Me and my wife came up with a system that's working well for us. This new system really streamlines the process and results in higher quality guppies. The system is made out of 32 glass aquariums and 36 pond tubs of various sizes. It involves using these 5 gallon tanks or similar sized tubs for the breeders. Small 2.5 gallon aquariums for the 5 gorel until they're ready to be sexed and separated. 10 gallon glass aquariums for the male gorel and larger tubs for the female gorels. I've been lucky enough to be gifted this Mido Linear Piston Air Pump by Aquarium Co-op. I really love this pump. It's super quiet. It packs enough power to supply this entire setup with air, which is a lot of setups, 68 to be exact. The air pump is connected to a 3 quarter inch PVC system. and also utilizes these metal air valves that I also got from Aquarium Co-op. But let's take a closer look at some of these setups. Okay, first off is my Dumbo Red Mosaic Guppies. These are one of my favorite strains. And actually I'm keeping three different um, lines of these. I especially like this um, strain that I got from Hawaii Hobbyists. His line is very nice. Here's my Dumbo Purple Mosaics. These are one of my more recent pickups. Lucky enough, I already have some of the fry. And the top view of this guppy is very beautiful. Here's my Dragon Guppies, yet another one of my favorites. I'm dropping the Dumbo part of the name, originally they were called Super Dumbo Dragon Guppies. But as you can see, a lot of them don't really have an extended Pectorophins. But something I am concentrating for this strain is the Half Moon trait, which a lot of them do show. And the colors on these guys are just beautiful, just a rainbow of color. This is my red albino strain. These actually breed pretty good for me. The albinos are known to be fry eaters, but when the female becomes large and look like she's ready to give birth, we like to take out the female just so that the fry have a bigger chance of making it without the other adults feeding on them. This is the Blue Green Moscows. I got these from a fellow guppy breeder who got them from Tim and Gary. This is a IFGA competition grade. The reason why they're called Blue Green is because sometimes they look green and sometimes they look blue. This is the Purple Moscow. This is actually from the same line as the Blue Green Moscows. The person I got them from noticed that some of them threw a purple color so she just separated those purples out and was eventually able to breed a purple Moscow line. I also threw in this purple Moscow from a different line in here just to see what would happen because um, as you can see he's quite pretty uh, but he's a little bit on the older side his tail is a little bit too enlarged where um, he can't really swim that well. This is the giant koi guppies that I shown earlier on my channel. Um, just seeing if they could breed but not sure if they can because um, I suspect they're sterile. This is the Tanzanite Blue Moscow. Under the right light, they show a very dark blue. This is the Japan Bluegrass Guppies. 
I originally got these from Twin City Guppies. They look a lot better behind a black background. Otherwise, as you can see, the tail looks more of a yellowish color. These are the snake skin top sword guppies. Very lively bunch. And this is actually the only sword string that I have. Albino koi guppies. I recently obtained these. And hopefully they breed well. These are the metalhead blue lace. I also got from Twin City Guppies. These are one of my longtime favorite strings as well. Tuxedo Koi Guppies, also recently attained and hoping they breed well as well. Metalhead Black Lace Guppies, uh, these are one of my all-time favorites but right now I'm low on stock. Here's another one of my Dumbo Red Mosaic lines, and this is actually my original line that I've been keeping. And here's a look at the fry rack. We like to keep the fry in these small tanks um, until they're sexable. And we like to put the date on the tanks when we remember. These are the Santa Claus Dumbo Ears, very popular strain. Um, but these are actually difficult to maintain as far as keeping them breeding true. What I'm concentrating on is keeping the pectoral fins nice and white and the red color on the tails. Red Albino Gorout. Gray Body Koi Breeders. I had these for a long time, one of my original lines. Crown Tail Girl. Dragon Female Girl. Dragon Male Gorout And here's some of the other Gorouts for the males Here's a Tanzanite Blue Moscow's Santa Claus Dumbo And here's a Daphnia culture. Green Moscow's, very prolific. Dumbo Red Mosaics Blue Green Moscow And here's some more Koi Guppies
And here's the green Moscow breeders. Alright, that's all I have to show you for today. I'll leave you with a live feeding of freshly hatched baby brine shrimp. I like to put the baby brine shrimp in this little squeeze bottle and just squirt them in each tank. Makes my life a lot easier. Thanks for watching.